NoteStation is the notebook of today, with rich text editing, audio capture, image embedding, encryption, and extensive sharing options, NoteStation can catalog your research projects, track your shopping list, or keep a journal of your adventures. In this video, we'll show you how to work with notes and notebooks, as well as introduce you to NoteStation's features. First, make sure that NoteStation is installed from the Package Center. Once installed, NoteStation can be found in the main menu. The NoteStation window has a navigation menu on the left and a display pane on the right to show items selected in the menu. The two primary items in NoteStation are notebooks and notes. Here we see a notebook for a hiking journal. There's a note with an overview of the details for fellow travelers, a note with a checklist of items needed for the journey, and a couple journal notes about daily experiences. The joined notebooks are notebooks that other DSM users have shared with me. In this case, my mom has recipes shared with me. The tags section will list any tags that have been used for notes, along with a number indicating the number of notes using the tag. The favorites menu shows notes and notebooks that you've marked as favorites for quick and easy access. To add a note or notebook to your favorites, just right click it and choose add to favorites. That covers the basics of navigating NoteStation. Now let's take a look at making notebooks and notes, as well as some of the items that can be added to notes. Now I'd like to show how NoteStation could help me get organized enough to participate in a charity event called Games Done Quick. I'd like to participate as a speedrunner, which is going to take some planning. I'll start by creating a notebook for the event. There are a couple notes that I'll need for preparation, including some basic information about the event. To start, I'll make a new note, change the title to Registration Information, and add some information about the event. The editor supports common keyboard shortcuts that you'd typically find in a rich text editor. Control B bolds the text, and Control U underlines. Or if you're on a Mac, Command B and Command U respectively. After some more research, I found out where the event will be. The rich text editor allows me to select a block of text, then add a hyperlink to it. This way I can get to the hotel's website easily. I can also add this location information as a GPS tag in the note for reference as well. To do this, I can either click the Info button, or right-click the note and click Info. There's a lot more information to get, but let's jump ahead to see more of what NoteStation can do. I've decided that I'd like to do a speedrun of Star Tropics, a game that I had a lot of fun with growing up. I'll need a lot of reference material on how to get the fastest time. Just to make the note a bit more interesting, I'd like to add an image. I've got the URL of an image showing the intro screen, so I'll go ahead and add it to the note with the Insert Image button. The resulting dialog allows me to use URLs or local files. As you can see, NoteStation uses the image in the note list as well. If you don't like this effect, you can toggle it in settings. The image imported is a bit large. I can scale it using the handles along the edges, or just use a few predefined options. Now that the image is the size I want, I'll center justify it. Moving ahead, I found some reference material on how to get the best times. In my note, though, I'd like to embed a YouTube video of the current best time. To add the YouTube video, I just need to click the Insert slash Edit Link button and add the URL of the YouTube video to the dialog. The option to embed becomes available after pasting the link. NoteStation can also record audio from your mic to add to your notes. This could be handy if I want to make a note with my microphone while I'm busy playing. Your browser may prompt you for permission to use the microphone. After accepting, the recording begins. To delete the recording, click the red X. To save the note, click the green check mark. Once the recording is embedded in the note, clicking the I icon opens the audio clip in the DSM audio player. Now that we've had a look at some of the fun ways to use NoteStation, let's take a look at ways to secure, manage, and share notes. Here I've got a notebook with parts of a business plan that I've been putting together. While these notes are secured behind my username and password, it is still stored in plain text on the disk. There are some financial details that I wouldn't want leaked if my NAS was stolen, and to secure these I can encrypt the notes. The encryption process will actually create a copy of the note, leaving the original intact. After putting a password for the note and clicking OK, the encrypted note appears with a lock icon. It is important to note that only individual notes can be encrypted, not entire notebooks. Under the Create button, you also have the option to start with encryption on a note, rather than adding it after the fact. 
As you can see, the encrypted note is still accessible after being created. The note will be secured once NoteStation is closed. After accessing NoteStation again, you'll be prompted to provide the password that was set on the file. Notes are automatically saved every 10 minutes when in use, and are also saved when NoteStation is left idle for 10 seconds. These save points can be accessed by viewing the note information either by clicking the Info button, or by right-clicking the note in the list and choosing Info. In the Note Information dialog, click the View History link. In this case, there are no save points because this is a new copy of the note. Original history for the note is not retained in the copy process. Since I haven't removed the unencrypted version of the note yet, I can look at the previous revisions on that note. Clicking a revision will bring up a read-only version of the note from that point in time. You can copy information to the clipboard to be pasted into your current version, choose to completely overwrite the current version with the Restore button, or copy the selected version to a new note. Since I don't need the unencrypted version of the note, or any of its previous revisions, I'll delete it. Then right-click the Recycle bin to empty it and ensure I only have the secure encrypted version. Now I want to share this financial plan with my advisor, along with an additional expense report in PDF format for review. To add the expense report, I can drag and drop the file from my computer into the note. Now that I have everything needed in the note, I can enable sharing on it using the Share button, or by right-clicking and choosing Share. Since I have my Quick Connect ID configured in the Control Panel, and my email address configured in my User Settings, I can email it straight to my financial advisor right from the DSM in just a couple clicks. When the link is accessed, my advisor will be prompted for the password I set on the note. Upon entering the right password, the note will appear in full tab view for easy reading and printing. Before we end this guide to NoteStation's features, I have one last important feature for users of Evernote. In NoteStation settings, you have the option to import your existing notes from Evernote right into NoteStation. Just click the Import from Evernote button, and you'll be walked through the process of giving NoteStation access to your account for the quick and easy import process. NoteStation is a great way to plan and organize your next adventure or project, then share the key details with others securely and easily. As with other features on your Synology NAS, access to your notes is available anywhere with a Quick Connect ID. Be sure to check out our other video on NoteStation's mobile app, DS Note. Thank you for watching.